Hello, welcome back. Um, this is my next project. Looking forward to this one. It is the Operation Herrick Afghanistan Helicopter Support British Forces. Uh, you get a few men that size. That's my finger, there you go. You get eight British soldiers and you get one Westland Lynx AH7 helicopter. Guessing that means attack helicopter. Um, I've had this one a while, as you can tell by the state of the box, but everything's fine inside. Not sure how I'm going to do this one. Well, obviously I can paint them, but I don't know if I might make a little board with some, you know, like a little diorama type thing. I might try to do something like that. You get paints, um, you get brushes, and you get glue. Which is good, but obviously I've got a lot of paints I can use. <laughs> That's what it'll look like, hopefully. It's quite nice. So yeah, I decided to stray away from a plane, not too far though, because obviously it's a helicopter. There's the old information. You want to have a read of that? You can. Pause it. So I'll open it up and I'll show you what you get inside. Okay, so this is everything inside. There's your old paints and your brushes. And your glue. There's all your parts. Quite nice detail on there, so should be quite good. You can see through the packet that is. Not too many parts, so it shouldn't take too long. There's the men. I quite like painting men, I'm not too bad at it, hopefully he says now, but you know. I've done a lot of little Warhammer figures and things like that, so I'm not too bad at doing people. Um the old gift set thing inside it. That looks nice, doesn't it? So does that bank and them Spitfires Americans? Yeah, so you get a little gift set thing. I don't know when this model was made. No, nothing about it. The old Airfix Club thing, which I never joined. Don't know what you get with that, but there you go. Decals, not too many, which is always a bonus because uh, I find them a pain in the butt sometimes putting old decals on, but not too many. And then. Instructions. This is the English one if you want to read it. Probably says somewhere on here where when the kit was produced or whatever, but I ain't too sure. If anyone knows, let me know. Excuse me, I am tired. Right. There we go, here's the old instructions. Uh, just your basic instructions, really. Starts with the helicopter. So, yeah. This is schemes. And then the men. The old guns. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but I think I'm just going to be blobbing paint on it, this. But we'll see. So yeah, I shall make a start then. I'm looking forward to this one, this should be a good one. So I actually thought this time I would um, do a kind of like voiceover on this one instead of playing so much dodgy music. Um, yeah, kind of let you know what's going on really. Um, yeah, this is, you have to drill holes out for the seats. And uh, I'm kind of trying to figure out which way, because, you know, they can go around either way. So I'm just deciding which way to put them, really. Got no preference. I just did it like that. This is obviously the seats. I skip a lot of it out in this because 
there is a lot of little parts that go in and it, it'll just get boring watching it all really I mean these are just seats and that so just showing you putting them together really um, they're easy enough giving them a spray painting them up and that yeah there's so many little parts it's just you'll get bored just watching it and the video is long enough as it is if I added all that in it it would just go on forever so it's just giving them a spray up I don't know what I stopped there for, I was watching something on my tablet at the time, so I'm probably just looking at it. Um, I'm putting the cushions on, or the seat covers on, whatever they are. Probably use too much glue, I always do. Get my fingers to it. That's the bit that goes underneath that um, holds it to the floor. Of the cabin. Yeah, skipping that part, was going to just painting them, just showing you what colour they are and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try this way of doing it, like talking over it. I don't know if I'll just end up talking too much for it though and it'll just get boring. But then is it boring listening to oh, the dodgy music? I don't know. That's the seat that goes in the drilled holes on the inside, so obviously if there's any passengers or other soldiers on the helicopter, they'll sit on that as it's flying. There's one seat on the back as well. Can't really see because the wall's up and then it's gone. That's the thing about these models. I like to have ones where it's all open and uh, so you can actually see what's on the inside because like the cockpit there, once you put all the front on and that, it's completely gone. You can't see it anymore. So I did that Fokker Wolf where you can have it all open so you can actually see. That's the side panel. That's the bar that's inside it. Doesn't say paint it black, but I thought I'll just paint it black. You don't see it anyway, so. Yeah, a lot of me showing you painting it black. Yeah, um, there's the side panels that go on, so, so now that seat at the back is covered, you won't see that again. That's why I end up having one of the doors open on the sides, um, so you can actually see inside. That tape got stuck to my gloves, that's why I did it like that. This is cutting the sides off. Um, they want bits drilled out at the back, so it's for a light, uh, a light that goes on the back. You have to drill out or cut out part of it. Get a good sand down, so get rid of all them burrs on the side and where it was attached to the sprue. There's me watching myself do it on the, on the tablet. I've got a new mat there and I accidentally spilt glue on it later on and the glue actually dissolves the lines on the mat. That's my old mat obviously on the left, I've had that for a long time. I don't know why I'm talking about mats, that's even more boring. So, so yeah, um, just putting the sides on really, there's not a lot else to it. I'll let a little bit of music play out here and then uh, Come back to a bit later on.
So this, um, <coughs> this bit's a bit odd here. Instructions, it tells you to put these little bits on here first, on the sides of this bit here, and then to put this little bit in, but it's got a little, if you can see it or not, a little slot on the end there, and it slots under that little ridge there. But that's rather hard to get that under there. Why wouldn't it ask you to put this bit in and then put that bit on over the top? But I suppose really I should have looked at the instructions more carefully, but I wouldn't expect it to do something like that. I mean, I think I'm going to have to take these off to actually get this in. So push it really hard. I need a bit of glue as well. Oh, yeah, just a bit of an odd thing, that, but, I mean, this bit's going together a little bit hard and not brilliantly, but, there we go, well, kind of, not yet. So I've had to actually pull the model apart a bit there to get that bit in, so, rather odd, but, there you go, it's in now. The same on this side as well, I've got to do, so, I'll just glue it first, I know. But yeah, see, it's just a bit odd why they've done it like that. So it's pulled the model apart a bit there, so, you know, if that glue had really set, then I'd have had no chance. And now it's pulled it completely apart, so, yeah, not great instructions on that bit there. There you go, it's in now. I'm looking, liking the look of it though, and this bit here as well. No way would that go together. I mean, that is tight against the top of that cabin there. That's just not long enough. Push something in there now. Look, I've pushed the seat off. <laughs> God. Glue that back down. That's all right. So yeah, not great um, model this one, it's not going together that well. I mean there's absolutely no way I can push that together any more than what they, I mean, slightly, if I really push it. And it's still not brilliant, I'm going to have to, if this don't work, I'm going to sit here like this for five minutes, if this don't work, I'm going to have to um, super glue that I think. So I'll stand here for five minutes and do this. Right, so I've got the beginning of the engine parts, or whatever these parts here are. I'm not actually sure what they are, but anyone knows. Maybe there's some like air funnel type things to put the air through um, as it's going along, maybe, or some jets to push it forward a bit. I don't really know. I doubt it's jets very much, but not really too sure. Maybe they are. But, um, yeah, so it's coming on alright, these bits have gone on, got that bit together, um, I couldn't film any of it because my camera died and I've had a bit of trouble putting it back on, <sighs> so I'm just putting gloves on at the same time here. So I'm going to paint this bit up in here because that's going to be covered, so I'll do that next and then... Um, I've got to put the funnels over the top, or the, the cowling that goes over the top of them, or whatever you want to call it. So, I shall do that now. I'm going to give these a paint. These are, I think this bit's black, I think. And I think this bit's silver. So, yeah, I shall have a look at doing that now. Doesn't actually tell you the colour. It's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so, I can see on the camera, yeah, so here is that part, doesn't tell you the colour there, no colour there, tells you the colour of these, 53, I mean maybe it's just the same as the rest of the uh, helicopter, I'm not too sure, doesn't actually tell you, it's green maybe, I'll do it green. What's on the box? Have a look on the box. Yeah, green. 
So I'll do that bit, the green that it should be. And then I'll do these bits here silver. And I'll give it a wash in that now, because like I say, it's going to be covered. So I shall get on with that bit now. So yeah, this is me painting them bits up, like I said I would. Um, I don't know what that bit is in the middle there. I didn't even look it up afterwards, and this is me editing afterwards, so should have done. I thought a chaff dispenser bit, so, or is it just a turbine? Oh, I don't know. Someone let me know, please. It's doing my nine. Yeah, this is just painting them bits up, and uh, looking a bit over. Goes over it afterwards. It was actually a pain to paint them, trying to get in. I should have painted them before I put them on, but live and learn, don't you? Um, these are the vents or whatever they are that go on the back of it. These actually fit on really nice. But satisfying this bit. Yeah, I've chosen to start wearing gloves. Number one to keep the model clean. Number two is because I can't stand my hands. I think they look horrible on camera, so I decided to wear gloves. Yeah, this is uh, exciting stuff. Putting them on this bit, they like I say they fit quite nicely. I ended up putting a bit of glue in the middle of them as well, just to hold them on there a bit tighter because they look a bit wobbly after a while. There's a cover that goes over the front of it. That's where the engine, I suppose, would be inside in the real helicopter. The blades go on the top of that. get the thing to fit because it wouldn't fit because of that bit that I said about and um, push the model out a bit so it wouldn't fit properly and I got there in the end holding that knife in a dodgy way like that but it worked yeah it's just putting the bottom of it on On quite nicely as well. Almost clipped on that, but obviously it needed a bit of glue in as well. So I had to spray this part of the door because I'm going to have this door open and uh, obviously I can't paint it after we've, I've got the door on and there's a window in the door so you'll be able to see through the window so you see I didn't paint it if I didn't paint it. I decided just to put that little bit on and I had paint left in my airbrush so I just gave the front a bit of a paint. This is the door that goes in the side. that on now. Um, like I say I skipped most of it. The door's on if you can see in the top right but I'll just skip it because it's so much to it. Obviously this is the towel end going on. That went together nicely and it fit nicely as well. The uh, Legs, the stands, the feet, what, what do you want to call that? I don't even know. Bits that go on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's where I put a bit in the middle to hold them together. Because they were coming a bit wobbly.
So I gave it a spray, I skipped doing that. I had a lot of trouble with my airbrush. Um, bit of an older airbrush really, I need a new one but I can't exactly afford one at the moment. One day though, one day, but... I mask gold up all the windows and that. Um, this is just painting the gun bits. I put the uh, blades on the back as well. Stabilising blades. Propellers, whatever you want to call them. Just painting tiny bits of detail here and there around the engine and that. Obviously that's the blades. They were a nightmare to get together because they didn't there's only one tiny bit that holds them together onto the middle bit. They just didn't want to stay there. I had to literally leave them about two or three hours to go like dry properly before I could move them. Yeah, it's just a little bit of painting really, de detail painting. That's about it really. Right, well, I've pretty much painted the helicopter up. I've done that, and obviously the blades. Um, I've just got to stick that on there, obviously. Um, and then I shall give it a gloss, and then I shall give it a panel lining. Or, oh, sorry, I'll put the transfers on first. And then I'll give it a gloss, and then I'll give it a panel lining. And that will be part one, I think. And then part two, I'm going, because I'm going to make this into a little diorama, I think. Um, I'll do the army men and do a little bit of a desert scene and I might 3D print um, a little Afghanistan house because obviously this is based in Afghanistan this uh, set that I've got here so yeah I'm going to 3D print a little dar um, a little Afghanistan house like desert house type thing um, and add that into it so that'll be part two but yeah, I'll just get this helicopter finished for part one, and then that's that done. So, I shall stick the transfers on now. Well, I'll stick this on now, and then I'll stick the transfers on. Give it gloss, give it panel liner, and then I'll let you see the finished part. So, I shall do that now. Okay, so finally got the decals on. Um, I mean, that took nearly as long as it did to actually build the thing and just paint it. There were a lot of decals on that one. But they're on, finally. Um, so the next part is I'm going to give it a slight gloss, not too much. And then give it um, some panel liner. I want to soon to gloss it. It's easy to take out these little watermarks and that. So hopefully it will again. And then I'll get this mask off of the screens and that. And then that will be this model done. And so this will be the part one. I'll do part two because I want to make a small diorama out of it. Because uh, I've got the army men to go with it. So I'll finish this model up and then that will be part one done. So yeah, now time to gloss it. 
All right, so this is the helicopter finally done. Um, I wanted it to use because, like I said, I want to do a diorama out of it. Um, this is going to be part one, just a helicopter. I made a bit of damage on it here and there. Um, but there you go. So, yeah, it looks nice and dirty. Like it's been used a lot. So, yeah, that's the helicopter part done. Can't really see in there. Kind of. There's the inside of the cockpit, all done. So yeah, I'm going to do the next bit of painting the men up and then I'll make the diorama for it. I'm going to 3D print a uh, like a desert type house, like I said. There's a little 3D printer out there. And then, um, yeah, make a small little diorama out of it. So thanks for watching part one. I will start on the men now. And that'll be part two. So, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.